I'm Ryan Baker. I'm Erin Kennedy. CTU and CPS, our negotiators are back at the table, but we're hearing that they still have a lot of issues to work out. CBS 2's Cesar Rodriguez is outside negotiations at Malcolm X College waiting on word for progress. Cesar. Aaron, negotiations resumed at 9.30 in the morning here at Malcolm X College. Meanwhile, the teachers showed their force on the picket lines at more than 500 schools across the city of Chicago. The Chicago Teachers Union president, Jesse Sharkey, told us this morning that there is progress, but there's a lot of work needed. Sharkey applauded the CPS for providing proposals about class sizes and staffing. They reached an agreement on protecting the duties of counselors and protecting early childhood classrooms. However, they still demand all schools to have a nurse. Meanwhile, the mayor's office agrees there's been progress, but hasn't received written counteroffers on class size or staffing. Those are issues, are two issues, that have kept both sides in disagreement for 10 months now. CPS says their offer will increase the salary of teachers to nearly $100,000. But CTU says that's not true. We've consistently said that, that pay is an issue. Uh, it's an issue for our lowest paid um, uh, uh, workers in schools, um, our PSRPs, but also the special education classroom assistants, bus aides, security guards, the people who are members of SCI Local 73. And we're together with their union. We expect to have more details at noon when the bargaining team from CTU meets with the media. Also, Mayor Lori Lightfoot is expected to make a statement. We're live outside Malcolm X College. Cesar Rodriguez, CBS 2 News. Back to you. Cesar, thank you. So